What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to show you guys inside Redfall where to place the three skulls and actually how to find the three skulls, where to locate them on the map, and how to defeat the underboss. Alright, so, and I was actually about to continue my walkthrough here on the channel with this mission, the Hollow Man, and I come to find out when I got to it, here's what I found. And this is where you actually place the skulls too, by the way. Best way to do it is to get to this fast travel point on the bottom of the map. Alright, so then, boom, now once you get to that, you want to place your marker on where it says the mission objective. And it's actually located right below that mansion where you had to find the three dolls, the pain in the ass mission. Um, this location is very close near that. So all you want to do, see now remember that's the mansion right there from that last crazy mission. You want to hug this right side, hop over this brick fence, and be very careful. Show me it seems like no matter how far to the right I get, some of these freaking vampires, they will still find you for some strange reason. So get ready for like one or two vampires, right? And here's what I mean. This is where you actually place the three skulls before you can actually do the freaking Hollow Man mission. Now, here is how you get the three skulls. You have to do this three times. I'm going to show the first one. And then you just basically do the same thing on your next two skulls. So, all you want to do, guys, open up your map. And hopefully you've already uh, unlocked or secured the safe houses. At least three safe houses because you only need three, right? So, boom. For this example, I'm going to show you guys. I just fast traveled to the safe house. When you get to the safe house, first things first, for me, obviously, I grabbed the free med kit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Then head over to the safe house mission board. And it tells you right here. For this safe house, and they're different, but the objective is the same. Go to the safe house. Go to the mission board. And it's going to tell you what mission you need to complete, which in this example is called triangulation, where you have to complete that mission. And then it will unlock the location of the underboss one underboss at a time guys so accept the stupid mission <laughs> and for example this one where it says i have to basically go up to the top roof or go to the roof of these two building locations and basically um activate the antenna because you're trying to find a source now, here's how I avoided all these vampires in there. I, was, I try to avoid stupid vampires, man. So I hopped on the roof of this building adjacent, and then I just, you know, just in case, I just cloak myself, and I get to this first objective and activate. Triangulate the source. Boom. And you can actually just, don't kill yourself, man. Just slowly or gradually drop down. You will not damage yourself. Fast forward to the second antenna. I just used the, um, what do you call that? The Raven. Just to make sure there's no crazy vampires up in there, fam. You know what I mean, guys? That's just a pain. Then it's just a quick jump. It's too easy. Come up the stairs right here. And then, boom. There is the other antenna. And then, obviously, just come right back down. Actually, no. Since that's it basically go back to the map and it says disable the source so basically the source is in that shop i forgot what you call it the uh the good store whatever it is now once you get to that store guys the, to this to this little building there's gonna be some cultists man but good thing about the cultists there's only a few of them but when you kill them pick up their ammo it's too easy guys so then, boom, now once you are inside, there may or may not be one or two vampires. If they are, just dispatch them easy. Head on over to the signal source. You got to walk up to it, hit disable, and then this actual safe house mission itself, the side mission, is technically me. done. And all you have to do now is kill the actual underboss. 
So to get to the underboss, it's another little trick. Before that, I'm going to show you guys a trick. Notice if you if you need health, don't buy health, man. All you do, just fast travel to another safe house, right? And get a free med kit. Now I have three, and I do the same thing. I go to my other safe house on the map, fast travel, get another one. Now I got four, and I'm feeling good, right? Um, now, if I, if I had that one unlocked, yeah, obviously I would go there. But, so then, boom, back to the original safe house where my mission is, because you can only do one at a time. Go back to the board, activate or accept the mission for the vampire underboss, guys. Boom. There you go. Exit the safe house, and boom. When you exit, then just kind of mark it on the on the map so you know where it is. This one, for example, is right behind this safe house. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually tell you guys a little secret. I was gonna make a video about this later, actually, but I'll go ahead and tell you right now. I've actually already been inside this so-called, it's called the Custom House Museum. I've been in there just by random. I was kind of curious because it looked huge. It is a good loot place, guys. It's three stories and it is loot galore so if you get a chance just hit that up now um here is the underboss guys don't even be tripping like i i was tripping because i was like oh crap underboss oh it's gonna be tough guys man it's it only sounds tough because it's like oh snap underboss yo underboss is nothing bro i killed this underboss with the uv light fam now nah, come on <laughs> Check it. Boom. Got him. I hit him. Boom. Now what does it say? Vampire Vampire Underboss is defeated. All you're going to do now, guys, is just kill these uh, cultists just to get them out the way. And then um, there's going to be like one or two vampires as well. Just kill them also. And boom. There you go. Now it says you have to get the skull. Sorry guys, my PC was tripping. But if you come to the top and just just keep following the little locator, it's gonna tell you where the skull is, guys. My my PC was tripping, so I'm sorry about that on this part of the video, guys. But basically, just locate after you kill him, he's not gonna be in the same location where he died at. The skull is gonna tell you where the skull is, man. For this one, it was on the top of that museum. So just go to the top, grab the skull, and it's gonna be in your possession. So you can always go back to your loadout. As you can see, you got one skull. And then, yeah, my PC was tripping today, guys. So sorry about that at this point. But anyways, do the same thing like we did in the earlier part of the video where I showed you guys where to place the actual skull. And like I said, there's always like one or two stragglers, man, vampires, man. Just quickest way for me, boom, use that UV light on them, fam. They, you know, they hate that UV light. That's good for us, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? So, and then boom. Also, the Stake Launcher too, guys. Stake Launcher is a gangbuster. Um, I, I use those two things, like, religiously um, to dispatch vampires quick and easy. It is so simple. One, two. Finito. Finish. Done. Donezo. You know what I'm saying, guys? Boom. Head over to where you play the skulls at. Place the skull, and that's one and done. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, let me know in the comment section, guys. And again, rinse, repeat. I'm going to do the same thing right now. And then I will catch you guys on the next video. Will be the Hollow Man mission. Now you see why I broke this into two videos. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Man, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.